We are at the beginning of December. The league season has well and truly formed and we are starting to figure out where we stand in this league, which takes us to today, Liverpool and our former club, Birmingham. Let's quickly review the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met, the first of which was in a weird draw against Norwich. Alexis McAllister actually put them in from 17 minutes in. Alexi equalised one minute later. I believe he was starting up top due to Damien being injured. And that's how things stood. We were fortunate to get away with a point in this game, but it's a point we'll take. And then disappointment followed that game away from home against Newcastle United. Taylor Harwood Bellis put them in front 16 minutes in. Terence Platt equalised 10 minutes later. But Adam Ida scored in the 92nd minute. Every time I play Adam Ida, he seems to score. Um, and this time, very, very late on, giving Newcastle the win. We bounced back though with a 1-0 home win against Bournemouth and what was a very dominant performance. Damien Mallard scored in the 89th minute to give us the three points. Uh, Dvorak had missed a penalty two minutes in and we completely dominated this game. Fortunate to get a win, scoring that late, but we just conceded a late goal in the last game. So will things even out over the course of a season. Next was a 2-2 away draw against Wolves. A little bit disappointed in this one considering we smashed them in the League Cup. Um, with a rotated side but Lewis O'Brien and Damien scored twice in the 76th and 80th minute to give us the point they had went 1-0 up and then 2-1 up so we had to bounce back twice um, but the boys showed some grit and some steel to actually get back into this one and this one goes alongside the Manchester United victory this season as unexpected surprises a 3-2 home win against Chelsea Heffern and Holland Mallard and Alexi with the goals Sancho and Jovanovic with the goals uh, Jovanovic with the goals for them he's a fantastic striker by the way yeah he's very very good but not good enough we beat them and finally was a pretty routine 3-0 win at home against West Ham Damien with the brace and Luke Daly with the other and that takes the Premier League table to looking like this we sit fourth <laughs> we're fighting for Champions League qualification Damien is in the top goal scoring charts things are looking rosy but today's episode is against Liverpool. They are we are away from home, I believe. Um, it's going to be a very very difficult tie, and if they beat us, they will leapfrog us in the league, and we will drop down a few positions. But being in this sort of position, not even halfway through the season, is leaving me very very excited and very happy because our boys have improving. Um, they're starting to gel. If we take a look on the dynamic screen, things are improving. Dressing room atmosphere, managerial support slightly down, but it is going up. Team cohesion is what we're focusing on and we're hoping starts to improve, which will of course then continue to improve our uh, form and the performance of our players as a result. But yes, it is Liverpool away from home first and then Birmingham City uh, at home after that. They are still sitting in 17th. I'm very, very surprised that they are not higher up in the league. They've still got the likes of Mauricio Chan um, in their squad and they've got some very good players. Alberto Salenza, who we signed for them, of course. He's... <laughs> He's turned into one of the best strikers on the game. So the fact that they're that far down in the league is a little bit strange. But Birmingham are next. Liverpool are first. We haven't got a full strength squad. Um, a lot of our players are currently injured. Negro are battle right back. Back up centre back. Battle right winger. For starting goalkeeper Adam has been injured for quite a while. I think he got injured for about five weeks. He's already been out for three weeks. He's out for another ten days or so. And Alexi is injured for this game as well. So we don't have him coming off the bench. But the first 11 is pretty strong. Gunnarsson needs to step up during this difficult time. But we'll see how we get on. Liverpool away from home. Obviously one of the best sides in the league. Oh, interesting formation as well. 3-4-3. Three, three. Ruben Diaz. Uh, Todibo. Is that how you say his name? I know he's fantastic. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the sign Proker. We almost signed him on loan from Arsenal. But Liverpool jumped in and signed him on a permanent deal. Some fantastic players. They're not performing particularly well in the league. They're not doing great. But um, we'll have to see how this goes. I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. We are in a good run of form right now. Um, it's it's a couple of wins in the past couple of games. Obviously fantastic. Any time in the Premier League against any opposition as well. But uh, Liverpool definitely represent a sort of bigger challenge once we're away from home. Uh, Chelsea at home was obviously a great game for us. But the home advantage is definitely something we take full advantage of and uh, not something we have to do six minutes in we are on the ball and they are pressing quite high Platt picks up the ball in an advanced position on the right hand side gets dispossessed 
by Varas and now Liverpool can break. They've got the three strikers. They're going to cause our defence problems. And Proc is in behind. And he gets his seventh goal of the season. Ah, puts Liverpool 1 0 up seven minutes in. Not an ideal way to start this game. It's all coming from Platt on that right hand side. Completely messing up. And I'm, I'm going to drop Terence Platt. He's been pretty dreadful so far this season. And with Alexi sitting on the bench with. Um, oh. Can't even remember his name. The Czech Republic international on the other, uh, the other option as well. It's pointless keeping playing him. Like he's got good attributes. That's what I don't understand. He's just not performing as Van Tozzi goes in behind the defence again. A long ball over the top. Declan Rice with the assist. And nine minutes in, we are sinking without a trace. Probably my fault for being on a positive team mentality. I should have been on the cautious one um, from the very beginning. Maybe drop our defensive line a little bit as well. But uh, we'll see where this highlight goes. Dispossessed again. And the high line is coming back to bite us. Proc is in behind. Gold challenge in the end. And yeah, we're going to drop our line a bit. 26 minutes in. Can we have a highlight that goes our way? That would be nice to see. Nope. We get dispossessed in the midfield. And the ball over the top. Despite dropping our line. Fantozzi's in behind again. Good awesome with the save this time. He keeps the ball alive. And it goes out for a Liverpool corner. They are causing us. All sorts of problems with this 3-4-3 tactic. They're closing us down quickly. Our boys are panicking. Um, and we're not really being composed in possession. But Stanko can get rid of this. And is that the end of highlight? Yes, it is. Free kick for Liverpool in their own half. They played around to the left-hand side for Vinagre. Gets past his man. He's in the box. He plays a back post. Daly's there getting rid. But it's still alive. Dvorak. Makedo manages to get rid of it. Damien is just sitting with his finger up his arse. I wear, mate. Tonali switches the player back to Vinagra again. He's causing us all sorts of problems. Thankfully, his shooting isn't so good. Corner now. Platt is the man to take at Heaven and Holland. Gets cleared. Mercado nearly, nearly gets us a goal back. Stanko now dropping deep to pick up the ball. Heaven and Holland into Petra. We've got options on both wings. Stanko, man. That is such a terrible pass. He should be fine and look daily with that one. And the ball over the top. Once again, Fantozzi. In behind, good save by Gunnarsson. I'm not going to have to drop our line even further. Corner, Terence plays it in. It falls to Damien. And that might be the block of the century by Ruben Diaz. And that's it for the first half. Liverpool 2, Huddersfield 0. Not a great game so far. First half was pretty much all Liverpool. We did have some spells of possession there. But giving the ball away in sloppy areas. And then getting caught in the counter is not ideal. As we get our first highlight of the second half, it's a corner to Liverpool that could end up being a counter-attacking opportunity for us. They've pushed forward a lot of men for being two in front. Stanko finds Damien in the box. Can he finish? He certainly can. Damien gets his 12th goal of the season and brings this game back into contention for us. See, we can beat them at the wrong game. We can counter-attack as well. Stanko does great. Coming down the left-hand side, finding uh, Damien in the box. Gets a little bit fortunate here, tackling the defender, but uh, the keeper... A little bit sloppy there. 2-1. Half an hour remaining in this game. We have ourselves another highlight. We have sat a lot deeper as you can see now. And Stanko pinches the ball on the halfway line. Can he finish? Oh, he can at Allison with a good save. Corner will stick with this. Terence plays it in. Oh, Damien was there lurking back post. Not really sure what to do here. Should I go for this and go attacking? Um, Heffen and Holland picks up the ball on the left-hand side with 20 minutes to go. Icaro again. Loses the ball in defensive position and as Connor goes for goal, Gunnarsson saves it this time. We're going to take off Icaro. He's been fantastic this season, to be quite frank, but he's having a poor game today. Dustin Montag can come on um, in the defensive midfield position. In terms of other subs, Terence is going to have to stay on. Jefferson Holland, not uh, Jefferson. It's John Heffern and Holland, not having the greatest game. Luke Daly can come off at Angle Dulce as well. Ian Calvert coming on the left-hand side. Um, we're going to go attacking. And do you know what? We're going to push our line all the way up. We're using the offside trap. And we'll see if we can catch them. Highlight now. Stankovic with a free kick in our own half. Is this going to develop nicely for us? Montag picks up the ball. Stanko. If they pinch the ball again, they're away. Thankfully, Stankovic offers them an out on the right-hand side. He whips the ball in. Damien's there. Damien Mallard. What a goal, my son. 13 goals for the season. Brings it back to 2-2. We are now dropping our line. <laughs> but that... Is a little bit of fantastic comeback. Liverpool 2 0 up, completely dominating in the first half. We have dominated the second half, and we do fully deserve a point now after this second half performance. Stankovic doing great work. Damien should be a save by the keeper, but we don't care. He's got himself two goals, 
but uh, again a deer and could there be a third for us Petra finds Monta is he going to go for the goal he's not he plays it back to do not lose the ball do not lose the ball please Damien out of Calvert back to Damien in the box please finish go on go over the line <laughs> Farras gets it clear off the line and with four minutes to go maybe it's Liverpool who are going to come forward and get themselves a goal Dvorak uh, gets clear Calvert sets away Stanko we've got two men running at the defence now Stanko is he going to go for goal himself he is and Alisson gets a comfortable save in the end the highlight does continue though with Everton coming down the left hand side for Liverpool is he going to go for goal himself he is oh I was still attacking. Why was not cautious? Oh, mistakes were made. After all the work we've just done. Right, we'll go back attacking. We'll go very attacking for the last few minutes. Push the line. Uh, use the offside trap. Uh, get stuck in. Let's see. If we can get a red card or two before the end of the game. And that is going to be that for full time. A 91st minute goal crushes our hopes and dreams. Damien did his very best to bring us back into this game. But... It wasn't to be against a, a very, very good Liverpool side playing a very strange formation that you don't see too often coming out of the AI. We'll recover from this, we'll rest, we'll get to the Birmingham game at home, hopefully have a bit more luck. So here we are at the Birmingham game, a couple of changes to the starting eleven um, since the last time, and by a couple I mean one. Alexi comes in after returning from injury, he's now, I've, I've committed now, he's going to be our starting right winger for every game he's fit for. Um, he's got some good potential. He's been a little bit wasted being a backup option. Um, so he's getting game time now. Right hand side. No problem at all. Let's get into this game. We know Birmingham. They've got an absolutely fantastic side. Which we helped build by the way. Um, actually. Let's see. So obviously Salenza we are fully aware of. An absolutely fantastic striker. Mauricio Chan and Bellingham are still in there. How's Bellingham improved? He's improved. He's not absolutely amazing. Jose Martinez on the left hand side now. Um, we were of course playing him as a centre back and that's pretty much it a very very much changed Birmingham side from when we were there but they've still got a couple of uh, key players I can see Keith Lonsdale still on the bench as is Harvard Hettel can you remember him? Positive start by us going by the match stats and the first highlight of course goes Birmingham's way so it ends goes close first half's been pretty dull so far <laughs> only five minutes to go and it looks like we're going to go pretty much highlightless apart from that uh, quick free kick by Birmingham City so we'll gee the boys up kick off for the second half and hope that they're a little bit better than the first I'm not going to lie I wouldn't be that bothered if we drew this game <laughs> Birmingham is sit currently sitting in 16th I do not want them to get relegated um, but I'm not going to hold back just in case of that but doesn't look like Birmingham need our help anyway Heaven and Holland does pinch the ball in the midfield area and drives forward down this left hand side he gets dispossessed though. Can he get can he rip the ball in? He finds Damien in the box. He hits the post. Damien, please. Why are you doing this to me? Corner, it's going to be. Akaro is the man who's going to take it. We get our head on it. We stuck with the corner. For once, it has peered off. And Jose Mercado gets his third goal of the season and puts us 1-0 up with only half an hour remaining on the clock. Akaro, great corner. He rises highest beats. Is that it's a Raujo? He beats a Raujo the centre half to the ball puts us 1-0 up great goal I'm happy well, maybe not Brown corner for them Bellingham goes close they try to do what we've done Birmingham City on the attack again Bellingham whips the ball in Martinez Trio what a save that was by our backup goalkeeper Gunnarsson absolutely fantastic and he's on a 6.9 <laughs> he should be on an 8.5 for that save alone 10 minutes to go in the match. We'll look to see who's struggling. Alexi, come on then, Terence. Show us what you can do off the bench. We'll bring on Gonzalo Negro uh, at right back for Stankovic. And we'll bring on Ian Calvert on the left hand side for Holland. So, see how these changes go. We have got a highlight with nine minutes left. Uh, Negro coming down this uh, right hand side gets dispossessed by Martinez Trio. No, it was Martinez. Now it's Martinez Trio. Plays the ball over the top. Brown has made a run from the middle of midfield. Ah. Nine minutes to go on. Birmingham City level things up. A bit too easy, that. Um, Negro giving the ball away. Should have kept Stankovic on. <laughs> but uh, you can't always... You can't always get what you want in this game. Salenza with a free kick for Birmingham City. Gunnarsson. That was going about 10 yards wide. Why did you even bother diving? Now you're giving Birmingham City a corner. Brown is going to be the man who takes it. 
Is it going to lead anything? Can we get that clear? Mercado can get that first. Stanko can bring the ball forward. Is this a highlight for us? Maybe. That could be what's happening. Stanko coming down the left-hand side. Gets past his man. He takes a past one. Gets dispossessed by the second. And that was that. <laughs> and time is ticking away. We are not going to get the win over our old team, Birmingham City. I'm not too disappointed. I'll not lie. But uh, it would have been nice to get three points. But it wasn't a B. And let's see where that sees us lie in the Premier League table. We were seventh going into today's game and we have now dropped to eighth. We are still within touch and distance of Champions League qualification. Whether that's a push too far remains to be seen. We'll have to wait and see what happens during the January period. But um, almost halfway through the season and we're currently sitting in eighth. It's not too bad. 64 points was the target from Barnsley. 75 from Birmingham. So um, we're, a, we're a bit ways off. Into, we've got two games left. Uh, we could potentially get to 34, which would give us 68 if we were to duplicate this form in the second half of the season. We need to start picking things up if we were to catch our former clubs. But looking forward to the next episode then. We've got three games before January. We'll play through them. We'll play through the January. We'll look to see if there's any signings we can make and any improvements to this squad. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.